Yo, what's up, dude? It's like 6.30. Got my dog on a walk. It's still like a holiday week, so it's not really as crazy as usual. But I plan on getting a lot of work done today, and uh, I'm actually going to the gym and hit some squats and arms real quick. It's an off day, but I do feel like getting some stuff done, and let's face it, my arms need work. So I'm going to do some, uh, some squats, arms, and a little bit of cardio. Call it a day. It appears I lost weight. It appears I'm down to 217 and a half despite all the macros. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself at the gym, make sure my scale didn't get messed up in the move. But um, if I'm really losing weight at these macros, that's fucking insane. So I still get asked the question, what do I eat pre-workout? If I train an empty stomach in the morning? No, no, I hate training an empty stomach. I always at least have an outright bar pre-workout. First thing in the morning, dude, you need some nutrients. I just train better on nutrients. I train better, my brain feels better. My body feels better, it's just a better experience all around. So I'm not a fan of fasted training at all. So on days when I uh, do like arms or something, I warm up with 10 minutes of cardio, so it's 10 mil today and I'm actually in the cardio theater in the gym. No idea what's on, I got Kanye in the headphones. But uh, just get 10 minutes of this, get some uh, squats, good amount of squats, 10 sets, then do my arms. Should be a pretty good workout. Probably about now, 90 minutes. So check it out, man. So I'm on, um, I already did my squats. Went up to uh, 315 by 25 each. So 135, 185, 225, 275, 315. Then back down. I believe that comes to seven total sets. And then I did um, tricep press downs with uh, bicep curls on the cable machine. Then I did that hammer strength cable curl right there. I'm really looking phenomenal right now. Anyway, the prednisone I took um, for my voice, which obviously is starting to help. Dude, last night was tough. Literally, it makes you retain water. So all the water my body was retaining came out last night. I got to pee 10 times, slept like shit. I'm down to 217 and a half pounds today. Literally, I went from 225 before I started the move to 217. That's fucking eight pounds. And my macros are up to 500 carbs, 300 protein and 100 fat. It's fucking insane. If I eat anymore, I'm gonna just fucking sit on the toilet and eat while I shit. But anyway, so I'm gonna finish up my biceps here, my triceps. So what I'm gonna do now, skull crushers. Again, I can't film. I don't wanna bring a GoPro. It's just awkward and weird. I'll just give you updates. So I did um, I did the hamstring bicep curl machine. Five sets of that, and I'm gonna do five sets of skull crushers. Then I'm gonna do something else. This is one thing I really missed at Basement Gym. They had a step mill, but it was weird. It was like self-propelled. It was just, I didn't like it. Having a step mill up here, I'm overlooking the gym over here. I'm really in love with this gym, I am. But what's even cooler is carbon culture. We'll be up um, next Tuesday, the equipment gets delivered. Can't wait to go there. But I'm gonna take it easy on my voice again today. I have so much topics to go over, so much to talk about. Can't do it till my voice is back. So I'm gonna take a day of no talking. Hopefully tomorrow I can be with y'all. Give some great topic videos. I have so much to go over. 2019 in review. 2020 ahead. The hits and misses of 2019. Epic videos. So what I'm gonna do is storyboard them today. Get them to y'all next week. So here's a great breakfast here. It's two whole eggs, pastured eggs. Um, Dave's Killer Raisin Bagel. Those are really good. There's 12 grams of protein in those. Although they're not complete proteins, I'll take my 300 in my can. And then I got Half cup of oatmeal, scoop of macrolution, and a tablespoon of honey. And that's my breakfast for the morning. So anyway, we're not getting Wi-Fi hooked up till tomorrow. So I've been using the apartment lobby to do the Wi-Fi, but got my boys here going on a little walk. Got ruckus. You know what? The great thing about this, if I had an apartment in Illinois and I had to walk my dog, I would die. I'm literally, like, we were wearing shorts most of the day. It's almost 55 degrees out. It is so awesome out here. Like, I can't explain to you how awesome this is. Also, had a conference call today with um, my partners in Ambrosia, Sean and Mike, and there might be some really, 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 really big news. Really big news coming out of that company. Such amazing news, good news. But other than that, um, I might be doing an event next Saturday at a local store. I'll keep you guys in tune with that. Just got to check with my wife if I can do it. But, um, man, I'm getting ready because I'm about to hit the fucking road. 
um, in the next uh, week, starting with the high V's in Iowa, moving on over to New York vitamin shops, moving on over to the Vegas vitamin shops. Then we'll regroup and we'll go back at it again. Then we get the Arnold Classic, so it's about to be on. On, you have your first game this weekend, right, Thomas? Uh, two games on Sunday. So Thomas gets to start with his new team. Well, his new squad. Not necessarily the people who are on his team. They mix them up for the winter. But I think you're going to fucking kill it, don't you? Mm. You guys don't understand, man. This kid's footwork is fucking, it's like pro level. As soon as he grows, as soon as he fucking eats and gets thick as fuck, mm. this kid's going to be awesome. Did you get a new skateboard today? You got to show everyone your fucking skateboard, I man. I did. I posted on my Instagram. Go follow me. Where's your Instagram? What? What's your Instagram? At Thomas Lowbinder. Thomas, is that with a Q? What? Huh? So I was actually a week prior to the Tiger Fitness Christmas party because I had to move. So the white elephant gift, which is where you buy a bunch of crap no one needs, then you exchange it and you get stuck with the crap you get stuck with. I got elevator shoes. I There's no way they didn't fucking plan this. No way. So these had three inches. I'd love to get elevator underwear, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. Whoa! I can't even see you! Five foot eleven. I can't! <laughs> what? Katie, Wait, let me stand up to you. Katie, come here! <laughs> Katie, come here! I'm Here's what I would look at if I, this is me at 5'11. Okay. So this is what it's like up here. So that's what you're gonna wear every day? Come here! Come, come in, come in! 5'6 for reference. Oh, you're still filming? <laughs> yeah, just come in. 5'6. <laughs> look at this, look at 5'11. It's 5'11. He's not liking it. He's like, I can't lick your face now. Wow. <laughs> Five foot eleven. Tall, dark, and handsome. One of the three. Which one am I? So the kids came down here, did weights in the apartment gym. Kids over there running with Thomas, Cammy, getting their cardio on. Um, just staying in shape, getting ready for the soccer season. They haven't missed one day training this whole move. So I'm very proud of them for that. And he's going to pay off. They're going to have a great season. With that said, you've seen my day today. I'm going to call it quits. It was a great day. Um, got my workout done. Got my work done. Managed to use the Wi-Fi at the uh, apartment um, lobby. Until my Wi-Fi gets installed tomorrow. So I'm ready to go. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look who I ran into in yeah, LA. Good hey. I've been watching your videos a long time. Tell me about this protein bar. So it's the Outright Bar, man. It's all natural ingredients made with real food. None of that, you ever, you ever want to work out, you want just a little snack, a little bar before training, but you know the other bars might give you a gut bomb. Right. This is something that doesn't have any prebiotic fiber, no glycerin, no sugar alcohols. It's whole, real food. That is a tasty bar. Really? It's easy to eat. It's not too chewy. Normally eat something like this with a big ass glass of milk. That's good. <laughs> so it's like a cookie. Really good. It's not good. If you want, we also have the, want to try the almond butter one while we're here? Love to. All right, so this is, is bar. this is made with almond butter, Steve. That's a one or two. Really? It's badass. Mm -hmm. Good protein bars, where can people find these? Well, they can find it at many retail stores. You can find it at tigerfitness.com. Two badass protein bars, so they get uh, two double uh, metal fingers up <laughs> from Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line.